Originally known for its historical roots, Old City has become the mecca of art in Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Jamie Leventhal, and this is Second Street. Even though there are a plethora of conventional galleries on Second Street, you can look down the block and see a comic book store that looks displaced in its surroundings. It made us wonder about the different art forms that have rooted themselves within Old City. Although many may argue that comic books do not count as art, Brian, an employee of Brave New Worlds, a comic book store located on 2nd Street surrounded by multiple art galleries, believes that art can come in many forms, no matter how unconventional. I think art, to me, mainly is something that is like created to either tell a story or convey an emotion. By detailing the progression of a story, comic books serve not only a functional purpose, but also an artistic one. Comic art is mainly being used to tell you a story. Every page is laid out, and that's almost like a piece of art, and then every panel is laid out to convey, you know, a movement of, you know, action. Similarly, one might not initially find a cup as an art form, but pottery has made its home as an art form within Old City through the clay studio, which has been around for the last 30 years. Sometimes people don't think that something that is used is art. Paintings are art, you don't touch them, you just look at them. A sculpture, you don't touch it, you just look at it. But I definitely think that this is, this and a comic book are just as valid as artwork that, as a, a painting or a sculpture. The traditional and unconventional art forms in Old City have worked together to create a welcoming artistic environment for all to participate in. I think different types of art serve different purposes in society. Um, I think across the board, art's meant to sort of enrich your life and change your perspective on, on life. Local artist Candy DePew has started her own silk screening business in Old City, but believes that art manifests itself in multiple forms to enrich the lives of others. Art is anything because I have friends that are chefs. They are creative and they're artists. I have friends that do makeup. They're creative and they're artists. There are people that build whole cities and do city planning, and that's a creative uh, thought process. I think that art can be anything that you want it to be, just as a form of self-expression. I really believe that artists are at the top of the pyramid, and designers and creative thinkers are at the top of the pyramid of, pyramid of society, and every single solitary thing they do touches every level of society, economic, cultural, uh, spiritual, health, everything. And art is a necessity of life and it is something that really is the life force in my opinion. Beyond anything else, these multiple forms of art have become a trademark part of Old City, where even Philadelphians recognize the influence the art has here. Art kind of can define areas, it can define people. I just think everything is better when there's art. With so many different forms of art, Old City has become a great place to explore new mediums of art. Something like music and comics along, you know, sitting right there next to like weird modern art, weird contemporary art, you know, and then like vintage clothing. It's, it's cool to have a spattering like that within a, you know, an art community. With so many eclectic styles coupled together in a small district, Old City has come together to offer artists a chance to display their work through First Fridays, an event hosted on the first Friday of every month. At a certain point, a bunch of us got together and said, well, people are afraid to come downtown from the suburbs. They hear all these bad things about people getting pickpocketed and all that. And we said, let's encourage them to try it. And so we began the open nights of the First Fridays. First Fridays, a lot of people would come down for First Fridays, and that was started by the Clay Studio by Jimmy Clark, I believe, uh, quite some time ago. And all of the restaurants, every single restaurant and bar in Old City has benefited quite a bit. In the end, Old City is more than just a place for art. It has also become a collaborative community for creative expression. There is definitely a sense of community in Old City. Uh, we kind of all look out for each other. Uh, we send people to each other's galleries. If, if somebody comes in here looking for kind of more you know, traditional painting or something that we don't really specialize in, we'll definitely recommend folks that do. So it's a pretty positive group for the most part. This has been Jamie Leventhal with the WHYY Young Journalists.